Samsung, proud sponsor of Techbusters. How many technology journalists does it take to change a light bulb? Well, <laughs> how many, Toby? <laughs> In this instance, it takes two because we're looking at quite a clever new range of LED lights and uh, it's the big change happening in lighting around the world. The fact that these very clever lights have reached a point where you can start putting them in your home. And the great thing about an LED light versus any of the other lighting technology uh, is that they produce light yes. energy as opposed to heat energy. The old light bulb that we knew from the Edison era, uh, the fluorescent light bulb, that those have all produced heat, whereas this produces light. So, um, really clever, this is what you'd use in a downlighter. Aki has what you would use in a normal light. Well, uh, I mean, I mean, as you can see, I mean, there's a whole range of, of these devices behind me. But interesting that you should say that. I mean, I've been using, I've been testing LED lights for, for a while. I mean, I've tested the, you know, other brands like Philips and everything. And Samsung's quite new to the market. But it's amazing the quality of lights that they have yeah. and the range that they've got. And the thing with LED lights is, the challenge that has been up to now is to get the balance right, to get that warm light right. They couldn't, yeah. they couldn't get that right. And if you, can, can, if you can see from these over here, they've managed to get the warm light right in, in yeah. LED. And I must say that in my home, my electricity usage has dropped. I monitor my electricity religiously. I mean, I can tell you at any one point, whatever I turn on in the house, I've got a monitor that tells me how much electricity I'm using. So what was your consumption at 3 a.m. last At 3 a.m. I used 21 kilowatts. Ah, well, let's see. Ka no, but the thing is, with, with LED lights, these save 80% yeah, less electricity than what and normal a, lights are. And it's a purer form of light because it's just the light. Exactly. It, the old incandescent light bulb was producing light as a byproduct of heat. Yeah. But the only off-putting thing with these things is the cost. I mean, these lights on average cost about 100 bucks. You know, they've got a range that they cost. But I, I don't know about you, but I get fed up with every, you know, like month, you've got to replace those uh, dichroed lights on in, 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 in my thing. And that costs 25 bucks. Now, when you consider that one of these costs 100 bucks, more or less, Look, and I'm you're a, getting I'm 15 a, years. 15 a, years is a long time. It eh? is indeed. I'm a generation behind you because I've got those CF, CF oh, fluorescent lights. But what I want to know is, uh, can you dim one of these? There are dimmable ones. You can get dimmable ones. And that's where the technology has changed as well, because before you couldn't dim them. But now they've got to a stage where you can dim them. Some of them you can, but others they stay constant. But, you know... You had me at dim. <laughs> <laughs> the dimmable ones cost a little bit more, but they are absolutely fantastic. And I'm a, I'm a huge fan of LED lights, and I'm slowly, slowly changing my whole house around because it's expensive. You know, if, yeah. you, if you count, I don't know if you've done an audit of how many globes you've got in your house. I have not. I've got about 45 globes. Now, 45 globes is four and a half grand. So I'm doing it in stages, but you know, if you've got a home, do that audit count how much electricity, work out how much electricity each of these globes uses in your home and you'll find out that over a period of 18 months you're going to repay these back. Well there you have it. How many uh, technology journalists does it take to change a light bulb? Two journalists, a producer and two cameramen. Thank you.